me blow my nose. That's going in. <laughs> <laughs> We are out here in Fremont, Ohio, on the road to Connecticut, and truck blew a tire an hour in. All these big name tire stores had nothing for us, they're like next day. But right here, new tires. They had the exact tires that we needed, exact size, and said, yeah, we'll toss them on right now for an extremely cheap price. Shop, he's been here since 1960. Dude knows his stuff. Like, literally knows it all. I got a towel right there. Right oh, I did. Thank you. Oh, okay, cool, man. He knew exactly what every size of every one of these tires is in the yard and everywhere. Yay. New tires. All right. Problem number 30 for the day. Placing two truck tires. Now we got trailer tires going down. And we got trailer tires like eating themselves, which is awesome. Yeah, and hopefully we don't go through that last tire. Yeah, we got Good one time. more spare trailer tire. Well, that can still be a spare. <laughs> yes. Hopefully it stays a spare. That one is a spare. Can we just put it on backwards <laughs> and then it'll be good, right? Oh, man. We are here at Stafford Speedway, and I believe it's Stafford, Connecticut. Uh, Stafford Springs? Stafford yeah, Springs? Something, you yeah, bet. Something like, something that. like yeah. that. We're here for Cleveson Cars, Burnout Rivals. This is called the Stafford 900. It's a crown pick race. New England 900. New England 900. Yeah. I can't remember anything. It's been a <laughs> week, guys. Because I'll tell you why. We had tons of issues yesterday getting here. As you saw, we lost trailer tires. We lost truck tires. I had issues at home with puppies doing things throughout the house before you yeah. left. Don't cue that footage. Don't cue, you don't want to see that no. footage. It was Nobody not wants pretty. to see that gross bean footage. <laughs> but we made it here. This park is actually like really, really nice. Yeah, it it's like in the mountains, kind of like Bristol. Yeah, it does run in Bristol a little bit. I don't want to see that way, but we got the Mooch merch, the Mooch booth. <laughs> nice. We got the merch booth set up for Skids for Kids. Motorhead Garage and Michael over there. <laughs> so we're gonna hop back in close do a lap around get him parked and settled for the night and then we're gonna go sightseeing so let's get to it and don't feel any sympathy for his trailer issues they were all self-inflicted self <laughs> people always wrapped like a half mile or mile <laughs> got me nice little frozen blue raspberry drink mm-hmm the good stuff I will mm-hmm mm-hmm you're gonna have diabetes by the time you drink all this. I probably already do. Is this your first time? It's low budget. Low well, budget? That thing was like a thousand dollars four years ago. <laughs> How much is it worth now? I don't know. the crown vicks are getting ready for tonight all of them who we got jack stan boosted boys parker jimmy o everybody is out here he spent the majority of this race with clean racetrack in front and behind him he is sitting at fourth and a yellow flag has come out 
Caution on the speedway. I believe we may have more debris again from some tires. That may have been something that came off of the number six of Ty Bronze machine earlier. We see, I thought I saw a couple of cars that... Right now, I believe these are called mini stocks. So they're going to be having a few heats going on before the Crown Vic race. With us here tonight at Stafford, but unsure if Greg is going to be able to be here in time for qualifying. Uh, but we'll keep you posted on that. Yeah, I think this group, we may only see three drivers out there in qualifying. Our Biffle actually has to it, but uh, they're taking a look at it to the suspension when they change that right front tire, so we'll see. Oh my goodness, what just happened here on the front stretch? He just, Cletus just spun out the pace car. It is done. We stay green. Green remains out as Biffle has been able to get down to the infield and out of harm's way. Derek from Vice Grip Garage also looks to have gotten a piece from that as well. For the driver of the number 78, he had to start tonight in a backup car. Works his way through turns three and four for the final time. The winner of the inaugural New England 900 is Kevin Smith from KSR. Day two. Today is Burnout Rivals. Yesterday was Crown Vic Racing. Kevin from KSR finally took home the win. Damn good driver there. So we are set up. Gates are about to open. We got skids for kids. There's Andrew. Everybody hates that guy. I bet $150 yeah, so. Carl does not place an open today. $150 oh, so he doesn't so place? Angry. You're not going to pl place in pro today. You yeah, I bet. bet. I bet I do better than you. What are we betting? I do better in pro than you do in open. What's what the wager? Huh? What are we wagering? I don't know. What do you want to bet? I don't know. The 500 bucks you owe me? No. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. 50 bucks? Right to the rim. 50 bucks, I'll do that deal. Oh, locked in. Locked in. You guys all saw it. <laughs> all right. So, Mercury's set up. Lydia's over there. She's rocking it. We got Steve right here. He's doing the thing that he does. Okay. Doing it. We got some more Aussies. We got Craig, Pinchy, Cuddles. Why'd Benchy you skip over Motorhead, here. dude? And then... Motorhead Garage is right here because you're not an Aussie. I got to get my plug. <laughs> I got Australian blood in me. Hey, get your books. Ouch. You know, MotorheadGarageProductions.com or T4Turbo.com. Yep. Yep. I got it. There See, we go. We got this. He's got all the books. He's got merch. And he's single, ladies. <laughs> yes. uh, me and Seth are going to take Reactive. home a one-two finish. <laughs> 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 Almost got here. Almost died. <laughs> them scooters get dangerous. They really are. You can get hurt on them things real quick. All right, back to it. So, yeah, me and Seth are going to take home the 1 2 finish in open class today. <laughs> Seth's calling one. <laughs> 1 2 finish. Hey, it's a win is a win. A hidden motorsports vehicle bringing home a trophy. I live in Connecticut if I don't win. So. <laughs> That's true. Everyone support Seth. He's got a. Uh, only fans, I guess, or whatever. However, you raise money these days. Long story short, he's gonna need a place to stay. Yeah, he needs a place to stay. If you guys need him, send canned food, non perishables. <laughs> he lives out of the Does it have vodka in it? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish getting some GoPro set up and get ready for the two mile long crowd of yeah, people. Yeah, it goes the all flood. the way down. And we still have two hours before they can get in and they've already lined up it's great yeah, yeah, this is yeah. just just yesterday the same thing yesterday Excellent. was 12,000 people and today it's sold out so it should be another 12,000 people so here we go let's do the thing let go it is burnout time we are 22nd or 23rd in line we're in the open class because there's 15 Aussies in pro class we want to have a chance at a bald eagle so I dropped down to open Hopefully, you know, top six and open, that's really what we're going for. Get some sort of money. Uh, then I found out, they're like, hey, after all these years, pro and rivals can have a passenger. So I also picked up a rivals tech card, which is more of like the entertainment, just putting on a show class. So if Klaus is feeling good after the burnout, everything's perfect. We'll go ahead and we'll do a skid and rivals. Maybe Mike will be in it. Or Ethan, I think they have to Rochambeau for it. Maybe we'll have to replace a belt in between. That's... Uh, probably a given. <laughs> now, but we're going right along. We got Seth. Uh, I think he's going to be five or six behind us. So that way we can cheer on each other. Things like that. I really want a one-two finish. Me and Seth, 
get Chris out here. Chris deserves a top finish. We're gonna be pretty good. But you deserve a top finish, dude. I want I mean, number I got one. Third in pro. Yeah, but number one today, please. I really, I just really want a bald eagle. Just number one. We're going <laughs> number one. No, nope. let's do it. We're not settling for anything less today. There are some good. There are some good guys in open that are top three every time in open. Guess so. what, dude? You're one of those guys. Let's do it. Let's go. Ooh. All right. Let's get to it. Let's go get an autograph from that guy over there. He's so cool. Sounds good. <laughs> He's famous. Look at him. He is super famous. Taking pictures. Let me blow my nose. That's going in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, my balls are hot. <laughs> balls are hot. I still gotta make a clip out of that. <laughs> balls are. Balls. Balls out, balls out. Deal. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we recording? Yep, the <laughs> <laughs> Camera never stops, boys. Y'all driving me right now? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to introduce Seth to the channel officially. Are we helping? You're doing Passing. great. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> Why are you so stupid, Carl? Because <laughs> she's going to say shit as soon as we start talking. <laughs> Welcome back to Cleus McFarland YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? We're back here at Burnout Rivals. Carl sucks. shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's be done with this. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Welcome back guys. You have seen Seth on the channel a whole bunch of times. He had the Liberty Wagon, big old, what was it even called? Or what was it? The Vega Wagon. Vega Wagon. <laughs> He's on a car <laughs> So the Vega Wagon, that thing got retired. The engine went in a million pieces. It got crashed. It chilling at your house now. It's dead. But we're gonna tell you, Seth is officially part of Hidden Motorsports now. So we're doing his full introduction. Tell him what it is. You guys have seen Frosty before a bunch of times. He's been winning contests everywhere. Seth, tell him what it is. Uh, Frosty's a 69 International Metro Might, S10 chassis, 502 big block, power glide, 49 inch, uh, way cooler than Klaus. It is way cooler. How much power is it making? Uh, right at 620 wheel. That's awesome. I make that about four of my cylinders. So no, that's fine. At least I don't <laughs> lift. <laughs> Very, Andrew's just cheesing in the background. I'm just a media guy. I don't know what's going on. No, it's real good. So how long did it take you to make it? Uh, three months. That's really freaking fast. Yeah. It took me like well over a year. It's been doing good. You had a few hiccups. Yeah. In the beginning. Getting it sorted out, a new build. And then uh, it should be good now. If we don't win today, it's for sale. Five <laughs> bucks. That's true. If he doesn't win today, he's staying here in Connecticut. I didn't bring enough money to get home, so I live in Connecticut <laughs> if I don't win today. Now you've done how many burnout contests have you done so far? Oh, uh, little ones probably eight, and big ones two. And you've won a lot of them. I've most won all the little ones yeah. I've done, and then I got third in Indy when the motor blew up, and that's yeah. all fixed now. And you got third when the motor blew up, got point deduction. So if you would have finished it, popped tires, drove off, that was probably a first place finish. We're going through for a one-two finish today. One, two. I don't care. It would be awesome, though, to just lose to Seth. I'd never hear the end of it. Well, you won't never. anyways, because <laughs> Carl sucks. But. <laughs> this guy. This is him being nice. If he doesn't talk to you, that means he really doesn't like you. Why'd you partner up with him again? Because he sucks and you need somebody good on the team, and his guys won't get their builds done. No further questions. We're all broke and out of time. Fair. I'm homeless. That's true. <laughs> but... Look at this sweet t-shirt though, hiddenmotorsports.com. We got the Frost t-shirt. Check it out. The money supports Seth, helps him get across the country. He's actually, you just did a charity event last week. You set it up, you did everything. Yeah, we did that? an event for River Grace Lane over in Wyoming. She uh, rode a little electric scooter, got hit by a truck and got life flighted. So we did a charity event for the family and raised, put it on in two and a half weeks and raised $10,000 in five hours for her. And I That's took it down to them before I- Crazy. <laughs> Drove 33 hours to Connecticut from Wyoming, so here we are. That's a lot. But we're gonna throw some GoPros in his car so you guys can see what it's like inside there and outside of it. The door's fixed? I know the door's like to... No. No? There's it's no part latch. of the show. 
<laughs> It'll be real good. But let's get to it, buddy. One, two. Balls are out. <laughs> That's the end of the video. <laughs>
Well, that's going to end as not determined. Not determined. <laughs> <laughs> 